Welcome to Driven X Adventure, and today we're exploring the fascinating history of Coldale, a ghost town in Esmeralda County, Nevada. Did you know that Hollywood once filmed a movie here based on the plot of the film premise of the Clint Eastwood classic film High Plains Drifter about a woman kickboxer, and that this town saw a dramatic fall after a major fuel leak? Join me as we uncover its intriguing past, from a bustling service station to the eerie remains of today. The Motel, a simple yet vital refuge for weary travelers, driving across the open desert of Nevada. This place still shows traces of its cinder block exterior, some wooden structure, and its basic practical design. Unfortunately, due to the deliberate destruction of vandalism, this place has been destroyed. The birth of Coldale was in the early 1880s when coal was discovered by William Grotzinger, a German prospector who found coal deposits in the area, which led to the establishment of Coldale as a mining community. The town was named after the resource combining coal with dale, which is an old English term for a valley. Grotzinger's discovery played a crucial role in Colvale initial development and its place in Nevada's mining history. Fast forward to the mid 20th century and Coldale had transformed into a lifeline for travelers. Nestled along the crucial U.S. Route 6 and 95, this small town became a bustling service station. Picture weary travelers and truckers flocking to the gas station, cafe, and motel Coldale was their oasis in the vast desert. I really tried to find anything and everything about this place, and there is very little to nothing about incidents and deaths. There are no widely documented records of specific deaths occurring at Coldale during its operational period as a service station. So if anything about this place is haunted, it will be fake and made up by someone looking for attention. However, as the latter half of the 20th century approached, Coldale began to decline. The rise of interstate highways, especially the completion of Interstate 80, diverted traffic away from U.S. Route 6 and 95. Newer and more convenient service areas emerged, and Coldale's importance dwindled. By the late 1980s and early 90s, the service station and businesses in Coldale gradually shut down. The once thriving rest stop transitioned into abandonment, and Coldale became a ghost town. Adding to its decline, a significant fuel leak occurred, which led to the closure of the service station. Today, Coldale stands as a relic of the past. The structures of the service station, motel, and Café still remain, offering visitors a glimpse into the historical significance of this once busy hub. Coldale even caught the attention of Hollywood. In 1995, the ghost town served as a filming location for the movie The Stranger, which was an American martial arts action thriller and the star was a former professional kickboxing champion Kathy Wong. The 
plot is based on the premise of Clint Eastwood's classic film High Plains Drifter 1973 but transposed onto a biker subculture. In the movie, a mysterious young woman dressed in black leather rides into this tiny desert town seeking revenge on a vicious outlaw kiker gang. The film was shot in 1994 at Goldfield and Colio. As you notice the structure of the building exterior is made of lath and plaster. This helped with harsh desert lifestyle. The wood floor in the structure is made up of lumber mill cut boards of two and a quarter inch blanks of either red or white oak. This floor is still in really good shape. Sadly, these structures have also suffered from vandalism over the years. Graffiti mars the walls, windows have been shattered, and the once proud buildings have been further degraded by those who disrespect this historic site. Today, Coldale stands silent, a ghost town frozen in time. The remnants of its buildings whisper stories of a bygone era, beckoning adventurers like us to uncover its secrets. And now, let's dive into the realm of speculation hidden bunkers. Coldale's roots as a mining town mean it's riddled with tunnels and shafts. Could these underground networks hide Cold War era bunkers, secret installations from a time when the threat of nuclear war loomed large? The reason I bring this up, when I pulled up to Coldale. There are five cars parked in front of motel and we've been walking around here and we haven't seen no one else. So where are these individuals at? Imagine exploring these tunnels, uncovering hidden chambers where secrets of the past lie waiting. Local legends and old-timers whisper of clandestine structures buried in the desert sands. 
The remote location of Coaldale makes it an ideal spot for hidden bunkers shrouded in mystery and intrigue. To unveil these mysteries, I started with historical maps and documents, mining records that hint at what lies beneath. Geological surveys reveal the structures hidden underground. Each line I discover are clues in our quest for answers. Stay tuned. I believe this is the cafe, with its warm wooden frame and inviting stucco or brick facade, now sits empty, its large windows gazing out into the past. Imagine the smell of gasoline, the sizzle of burgers on the grill, and the neon glow of the motel sign this was a place where life happened, where stories were told. Now the motel's neon sign has flickered out. Even the storage sheds and workshops, made from cinder block, wood and corrugated metal, stand as silent witnesses to the town's vibrant history. The service station, once bustling with activity, was built from sturdy concrete and steel, its exterior clad in corrugated metal or stucco to brave the desert climate. Now fallen to Mother Nature and its wrath. The final nail in Coaldale's coffin came in 1993 when Environmental Protection Agency testing found that the underground fuel tanks at the gas station were leaking. This led to the closure of the service station, followed by the restaurant and motel. Coaldale stands as a testament to the rise and fall of countless American towns. It's a place where history lingers, where each crumbling wall has a story to tell. For history buffs and adventurers alike, Coaldale offers a tantalizing glimpse into the past and the possibility of hidden secrets.
Thank you for joining me on this thrilling journey through Coldale, Nevada. I'm Frank from Driven X Adventure. If you enjoyed this adventure, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more exciting explorations. Until next time, keep the spirit of adventure alive. I'll see you on the next adventure.